Pearl Tutorial Part 99 Looping with the For Loop I'm going to create a little For Loop that's easy to read and understand. Okay, so a For Loop can have three parts to it. So the classic way of creating a for loop is to create a loop index. This first statement here is executed before the loop starts only once. Okay, and now our next statement is usually our condition. So this is tested before each loop starts until it becomes false. So until the loop index is equal to 10. Okay, and our last statement is executed after each loop is completed. So this would be where we increment the loop index and no semicolon on the end for the last statement. And then we can put our block of code in here. So this loop will print out hello 10 times. So let's run this. We could also print out our loop index counter. The for loop you will usually see written like this all on one line more or less. like that. So if we run this we'll get a lot of hellos. Okay so we can use the for loop to print out arrays in a basic form. Just like that. One, two, and three. And we can print out a hash in a very basic form with a for loop.
that will just print out all the key value pairs on their own lines each one after another. Sky blue, grass green. So that's the for loop and this use of it here is the classic way to use the for loop with a loop index. So that's the for loop.